Today we got a look at what the logos will look like as the Goshen School System works to choose a new mascot. And here are your four finalists to replace the Redskins mascot. This is the Wolfpack logo. The Spartans are also in the running in Goshen. This is the new Goshen Redhawks logo. And finally, you've got the Goshen Gladiators. WSBT 22's Heather Black talked to people in Goshen today about these newly released designs. After 90 years, the Redskins mascot will be replaced with a new one. On November 10th and 11th, Goshen students, faculty, staff, and even alumni get a chance to vote on one of these four logos. Whichever one wins will be the next mascot for Goshen Middle School and High School. I showed fans at the JV Girls basketball game in Goshen the four logos released today. It's been kind of rough. I mean, I don't really want to change our mascot, so... It's just kind of whatever, I guess, now, but if I had to choose, it'd be the gladiators. Many of the people I talked to are still angry that the current mascot is being replaced. Of the current four choices, most of the people I spoke to favored the Red Hawks, likely because it's the most similar to the outgoing Redskins mascot. That's Ashley Persley's first choice. She says she doesn't mind the mascot change. I really kind of think it's good because, like, we don't want people thinking of us in a bad way, so I think it's pretty good. I have a lot of mixed emotions. I mean, I don't feel like it's it was necessary personally, but if people are offended by it, then so be it. It's just another thing. 97 ideas were submitted to find the new mascot. Now it's down to four. The logos were designed by a former Goshen student. Hopefully, uh, people will be able to move on from it and we'll be able to continue on as a unified school. School officials hope that by November 16th, after the voting on the four mascot choices wraps up, that the school board will be able to approve the new mascot and put this issue behind the school system once and for all. In Goshen, Heather Black, WSBT 22 News.